when there is a heightened state of emotion, it's a heightened state of expression and authenticity. And it's often connected to the flamenco. Yeah, and at the moment it seems like an external force is taking over. Um, welcome, Ben. Uh, Dwen Hello. is usually experienced by artists. Uh, how do they reach this state of mind? Um, it's, not, it's not just artists. It's, um, it's just, um, it, it could be a sportsman, it could be um, shamans, um, it could be um, regular people. Um, it's, um, the, the question was how do they reach that state? Mm -hmm. um, well, it's, it's a very gray area. Um, usually it's, uh, it's done by a repetitive, um, um, in a performance for example, a repetitive move. Uh, shamans do it with drugs. Uh, it's a very kind of mysterious... Um, like, like a trance or something? Yeah, it could be a trance. Um, could be a, a process where you just let go, you just kind of, uh, there's, there's something called flow in, in art where you get to a point where you just do something and you get into that zone. Duende is kind of like the next phase after flow. And is it comparable to being high then? Depends what drugs you take, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a state, I don't really know, it's, it's kind of like being in another dimension. It's, going to another state of consciousness. And, and you seem to describe it quite, quite accurately. Have you ever experienced it? Um, I think pe people that... I'm not, I'm not a performer. Um, I think I've experienced it in uh, live music gigs when, when you saw um, like uh, a jazz concert where someone improvised a solo and they got into that, you know, that feeling that you get with music and you're all like... <gasps> and you remember that one performance. Um, and, and I've seen live performances as well, like one performance that for five minutes after the show, uh, it was a contemporary circus, I couldn't move. I was just standing, saying to myself, God, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> cool. And how do you plan this, to capture this on camera? Um, so we have a few different, uh, I'm saying we, it's me and a guy called John Ellingworth, who's a writer um, who works with me on that. Um, the idea is um, to, to kind of concentrate of, on a few different artists that we kind of assume that they have that more often, have get to that state more often, and just uh, kind of accommodate the product, uh, project to them. So, so work with them and find ways to, to work with them. Mainly, mainly focus on a lot of uh, facial expressions and body movements and find ways to f capture the person in that state uh, without being too intrusive, I think. So, and, and a final question, the meaning of the word, it means mythical creature or demonic, why is it called that? Um, well, duende is a Spanish word for elf or oh. uh, for, a, for a goblin, uh, but in Spanish if someone has a really kind of uh, significant talent, they say they got the duende, it's like a slang. Um, and it's that, that moment where uh, you kind of let go and the body becomes a vessel to something um, demonic or um, oftentimes when you see that it's not very like, ah, it's not like <laughs> nice, it's quite intimidating. It's quite put you... Intense. Yeah. Cool. Ben, please keep us updated on this very, very cool project. Thank you. And if you guys want to know more on Duende or see other videos with Ben, go to interconnection.com.